Hello, this is Chris from 5 Diamond English. Today, I want to talk about the importance of phrasal verbs for English fluency. La importancia de el verbo phrasal para la flu fluencia en inglés. Okay, we're going to take a look at run as a phrasal verb today. Okay, the importance of phrasal verbs is that they are often used as what are called in Spanish modismos or idioms in English, okay? Now, the construction of a phrasal verb goes something like this. We have a verb plus a preposition. The preposition might be on, off, over, under, in, out, and that equals a phrasal verb. Okay, so that, that's the answer to the question, what is a phrasal verb? Now, I like to refer to what I call phrasal verb mathematics, okay? Where one plus one equals three and a half. The one is a verb. The other one is a preposition. But when you put them together, they come out to be something completely different from the words that we see. Now, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of phrasal verbs. We can turn pretty much any verb into a phrasal verb. Okay. Um, common phrasal verbs that we know are turn on or turn off, turn being the verb, on or off being the preposition. We know that turn on is prender or encender, while turn off is apagar. Again, these are pretty common phrasal verbs. We learn them mean even at a beginner's level. Okay. Um, Let's take a look at another verb. By the way, turn, what is turn? Turn is botear, girar. Okay, when we put them with on or off, the meaning changes. It no, has no longer nothing to do with botear or girar. Okay, the meaning changes completely. Let's take a look at another verb used as a phrasal verb. Let's take a look at run. Okay, well, we know that run is correr, right? But what happens when we change it into a phrasal verb? Well, there are a lot of phrasal verbs that we can create out of run. Run up, run down, run around, run over, run out of, and the one we're going to look at today, which is run into. Okay, Run into is a very common phrasal verb, and it shows very well how the meaning of a, of a phrasal verb can be completely different from the individual words. So what is run into? Well, run into can be physical, like run into the building, correr hacia dentro de un edificio, run into. But run into can also be chocar. The baseball players ran into each other. Okay, you can see here, ooh, they crashed. Run into something can be to crash. Okay, chocar. The baseball players ran into each other. Now, another meaning can be to see somebody that you do not plan or expect to see, okay? I always run into somebody I know when I go to the supermarket. That means that every time I go to the supermarket, I see somebody I know. Now, I did not expect, I did not plan to see that person. It was unexpected. It was unplanned, okay? It may be a student, somebody I work with, a neighbor, a friend, okay? 
but it is unplanned. So run into can be un encuentro no esperado. Okay, so that is an example of the importance of run, run into, and phrasal verbs in general. Using a phrasal verb can greatly increase your fluency and also to increase your ability to sound like a natural English speaker. Well, I'll see you soon. Until next time.